Praise the Lord, everyone. This is Shawnee. I just wanted to come up here and give someone a little pointers about being focused or how to stay focused. I know sometimes we have so much going on in our lives, so much is going on in this world. Sometimes it's hard to stay focused just on one task. Sometimes, especially as women, we have to always multitask. But I want to encourage you today, if you need to stay focused on something, learn to become more intentional. When I say intentional, meaning even if you have to put, give yourself, write down a calendar and write Monday through Friday or from 12 a.m. or from whenever you wake up. If you wake up at 8 in the morning, from 8 to 9, I'm going to pray. I'm going to read the word. I'm going to spend time with God. Um, 9 to 10, I'm going to work on my business or I'm going to have breakfast or I'm going to exercise. Sometimes to be focused, you have to give yourself and you also have to give yourself some grace from when you miss the mark. So sometimes when you want to be focused and you're trying to be intentional, you have to um, write down your, your days of the week. Sometimes you have to write down the hours of the day and go in and fill in what you would like to get accomplished on that day. That helps you to become focused. Um, another way to become focused is being committed. Staying committed to whatever the cause is. Staying committed to whatever the need is. Staying committed to whether to whatever your desire is. Whatever it is that you're trying to achieve, you have to stay committed. You can't be committed today and not committed tomorrow. You can't be committed this week and then you fall off and not committed next week. You, and you have to learn how to stay committed. You have to learn how to be determined and stay determined about whatever it is that you're going through, whatever it is that you want to accomplish in life. Another thing is when you want to stay focused, you have to start, it starts in the mind because the enemy is always trying to bring negative thoughts to us. He's always trying to bring foolishness into our minds. So when you, when it starts in the mind, meaning you have to learn to renew your mind in the word of God. So when things come in, in your mind, you could easily combat it by the word of God. Sometimes you have to be able to shift your focus from whatever it is that's going on in your life. Meaning, yes, we're all going through something. There's a lot that's going on in this world. We're all going through something, but you have to like be intentional. You have to be committed. You have to be dedicated and, and actually taking the time to shift your focus from whatever you're going through to whatever the greater good is. So even though you may be going through financial situations right now, you may be going through financial problems, but your greater good is that you want to see yourself buying a house. You want to see yourself buying your car without having car payments. So even though you may be going through financial hardships right now, you're still doing your vision boards. You're still writing down scriptures to, that you can stand on and the promises of God to get you where you from where you're at to where you want to be. Now, from wherever you're at to where you want to be, there's a process. There's a journey. And sometimes is that process is not easy. That journey is not easy to get from point A to point Z. There's a lot that can happen between um, point A and point Z. But you have to stay committed. You have to stay focused. You have to stay um, dedicated. And you have to stay intentional about what it is that you want out of life. You can't allow distractions to come in and uh, knock you off course. You can't allow distractions to come in and cause you to get um, frazzled and, and cause you to forget about your dreams, to forget about your goals, to forget about your aspirations. Because with all the stuff that we have going on in this world and all the things that the enemy is always trying to bring t to us and all the weapons that's form trying to form against us, we have to fight this battle. And it's a battle and it's a spiritual warfare and we can only fight it with God on our side. But in order to do that, we have to shift our focus from off of what we are going through, from off of what we, what we have need of, what we need, what we um, want out of life or whatever the case may be, onto God. And say, okay, God, I'm going to be intentional about my thoughts. I'm not going to allow my thoughts to run, to run away from me. I'm not going to sit here and think about everything I don't have. But I'm going to think about what the Word of God says. 
The word of God says I'm more than a conqueror. The word of God says I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. The word of God says my God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. So these are a little few steps I just want to give somebody to teach you how to stay focused. It's a daily battle. It's not easy staying focused. It's not easy not focusing on what you're going through and what you need of, what you have need of. It's not easy when you're going through and the difficult times are, are, you know, attacking you and you don't have money for your bills and you don't have money for food and for whatever else. I know it is, listen, it's very difficult sometimes to not focus on what you, what you're going through. But that's the best way is to focus on God, focus on his word. Really, when you begin to really focus on God and focus on his word, you'll see how your situations may not change right away. But the way you go through your situations will begin to change because your way of thinking will begin to change. Your way of doing things and your way of reacting to a situation will begin to change. So I just want to encourage someone on today just to stay focused. God bless you.